Hi Aquarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aquarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aquarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse, and this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So this is an energy of someone who is accepting an ending. This is an energy of, um, you know, really finally starting to heal and move forward from something that was quite painful, because this does look like a betrayal of some sort. So this is moving on or moving forward from a betrayal. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Aquarius. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords air energy, the ace of pentacles, earth energy, and the six of swords, air energy. Okay, so with the queen of swords, again, we're seeing it's like getting a more objective perspective. It's like your feelings are no longer involved in the situation and you're able to really look at the situation from a more logical point of view, a perspective, and it's like you're getting a perspective that's allowing you to move forward, you know, because we also have the six of swords, which is moving on. Um, moving on to calmer waters, again, healing, uh, progress being made. Um, there is just this energy of good mental health as well. Moving on to new things with the Ace of Pentacles, there is new beginnings available to you. And um, it's like, yeah, you're recovering from something that was painful. So let's clarify these cards, Aquarius. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is, again, an, an energy of a new opportunity. So there is this energy of new love, new opportunities, new beginnings in love, new cycles starting. And something, it's like leaving the past behind and going towards something new. Um, there is this energy of, with the Queen of Swords, it's, it's someone who's very very wise you know but she has learned from experience this is someone who has really been through it and she's taken the lesson and as a result she's kind of become more resilient more tough more no nonsense so there is this energy of moving towards new something new but with a new um perspective a new it's like a new you has been formed here yeah. okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say okay we have the six of pentacles earth energy the page of swords air energy and we have the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy. Okay, so with the Page of Swords, this does look like someone who is um, very curious about you. So whoever you're leaving behind could still be wondering about you, wondering if you're going to come back, um, when, wondering where you're going, how you're doing. So there's just this curious energy on their side. In fact, this person could be checking up on you, um, but, you know, secretively or, you know, you know, it's in a way where it's, you may not be aware because this can be someone who is checking your social medias, asking about you, getting readings done on you. But this person's still very curious about you. They're wondering how you're doing. You may think about this person from time to time, but there is this energy of you detaching from them or from the situation. Um, but they definitely do um, has still think about you a lot. And in fact, there is this desire to communicate, but at the same time, there's a hesitancy on their part. But with the Knight of Wands, it, it does look like, again, this person's still very attracted to you. They still have a lot of passion for you. But there is this understanding or this realization that if they were to um, try to initiate something with you again, they would have to really 
face the queen of swords energy which is quite a challenge for them you know there's this energy of them having to be held accountable so this person definitely i do see a bit of hesitancy on their part when it comes to that but this person does think about you a lot um this could even be someone who's feeling apologetic with the six of pentacles being there this is someone who does recognize that there may have been some sort of imbalance in the connection with you um but this this person also sees you as someone who who doesn't want to hear from them you're someone who is healing someone who's moving on and someone who could even be quite mean to them if they were to reach out so this person um was seeing someone here who feels a bit intimidated you know by you they this is someone who feels like they let you down in some way but at the same time they do feel kind of intimidated to even approach you okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you aquarius says have faith in your dreams waxing crescent okay so this is again an energy of new cycle beginning so you may be moving forward onto new stuff or being open to something new a new chapter a new phase a new person a new love but there's this energy of embracing something new having faith that better is there for you um, this person here, we are still seeing them showing up as a Knight of Wands type of person. This person could be a player. This person, there is just something about their energy. It's like they're not on your level. You know, you're showing up as this queen energy and they're still showing up as pages and knights. So this person, there is, there's, their maturity level is not altogether there yet when it comes to the situation. But this is someone who does recognize that they let you down. Um, but we do see someone here who, it's, it's almost like their pride won't let them express that or you know hold themselves accountable in some way so we are seeing you being on the right track there's this energy of moving forward anyway okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you um aquarius So the card says free yourself it's time to take back control of your life okay so there's again this energy of freeing yourself um moving forward leaving the player to play by themselves there's just this energy of you uh finding your own way you're not tied to someone here who um there's just this energy of um, not being tied to someone who doesn't have direction someone who doesn't have much to offer you um, there is better that lies ahead for you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Aquarius. God says, Daphdil, rebirth and new beginnings. New beginnings are often described as painful endings. So there is again that energy of a very painful ending and moving forward towards something new. Uh, the daffodil energy is definitely an energy of holding yourself in high regard, knowing your worth and honoring yourself, not settling for less than what you know you deserve. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aquarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aquarius. Bye, Aquarius.